What is up, YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. We're on the go. It is Wednesday today, and we're going to the gym. Me and Robin, we're gonna train a lower body session today. I'm gonna bring you with me. I think I have everything. Let's go. We're gonna taste like shit, as always. Tips from the coach. Drink it with a straw. <laughs> you can't feel it. And hold your nose. It's not that bad. It's just that I I mix. This is a whole other video, but I add salt into this one. Uh, along with creatine and electrolytes and a pump. So it's like a lot of flavors and I also don't want to have a lot of water in it because it fills me up too much. That's why it's like more, do you say condensed? No, that's not right. Con concentrerat. Concentrate, name the command, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. That's why it's a lot of flavor. So one thing I learned throughout all the years in the gym and all the hard work that I put in is that not all training methods work and there's nothing more disheartening than putting in everything you have and ha work hard without seeing any results. So I've been training for a lot of years now. I think I walked in the gym the first time, 2008. Uh, and I've been trying out many different techniques and training styles throughout the years to maximize the effectiveness of training and of the training that I do and obviously to reach results. I can't see anything, hold on. It was really windy outside. What was I saying? Yes, I've been training for many years and I've tried out so many different techniques and training styles to maximize the effort effectiveness of my workouts and get the most out of each workout. The thing is, not everything works and I've always trained hard in the gym and I want to see and feel my results. Feel them as well, not only see them but feel them. Feel strong is the best feeling ever. So we have a lower body session today and we're training together. I love to train with Bob and we have so much fun when we train. So today we're training a lower body session and uh, focus quads and glutes. We have hack squat. Oh, we have hack squat today. We also have Bulgarian split squats. You know, that's the only freaking exercise that I can feel anxiety about. Just like getting here and knowing that I will be doing Bulgarian shit squats. It takes me every time. When I started to practicing progressive overload, that's when things started to happen and honestly this is the secret to my success and my results in the gym in the last couple of years because I can only see results come through when I train this way. Kör du uppvärmen på den här innan? Smälla. Vad hade du? 130? Va? Och två sådana? Mm. Nu ska jag göra en halv på mig själv. Nej, det går inte. Det går fan inte. Okej. Okay. Men då är det här working set nu. Ja, det får vi bli Full working set. Det här kan inte vara warm up. Du kan trycka ner lite nu. Ska jag trycka ner? Där, sätt händerna där på och tryck lite. Nej! Ska jag det? Ja, gör det. Där. Ja, allt trycka ner. Jag tar i alltså! Ja. 
Nej, det går inte. Det går inte. Det går inte. Ah. Men det där är ju orättvist. Why is he here? Why? Dice. Worst exercise in the history. <laughs> so progressive overload training is gradually increasing the intensity and the difficulty of your training over time. So we're gonna start with working ourselves up to where the peak of the set will be and we have eight till ten reps which is a kind of heavy set. Eight for me in my head that is a heavy set ish so it's basically not until i hit my working set that's when the progressive overload starts and that's when you need to know where you were last week and how much you lifted last week that's why it's so important to always track your your weights your reps what you did last week and always follow a plan to gradually increase and get better over time That no, no. did 10 yeah. so then I know until next time I will increase a little bit more to aim for eight Den här övningen. Which means? Duck and hate it. Yeah, that's good. 
Ничего, ты бра. in the background <laughs> oh my god this is truly the best way to train for strength and for results in the gym it has changed everything for me when I started to track when I started to follow a plan when I started to be consistent with the exercises instead of before when I was just like oh I want to do something new something new something new all the time instead of focusing on getting the absolute best I can on one exercise or one but the exercises that I do in my plan how many ish ten maybe ten huh? one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm super bad at math but 20 40 60 80 100 120. Okay, 10 reps. One. Two. <laughs> it's too light. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? Are you kidding? This is one of the reasons that I don't train with Robin because this is a workout itself to unload and load. More? No. Okay. 140. Come on. Ten. Yeah, more. Eleven. <laughs> Twelve. Ah. The thing is, you can't see when you're when you are just like, I can't do anymore. You can really see. You can see on my face when I'm starting to struggle, but I can't see it on your face. I really can't see it. Poker face. Poker face. So when talking about progressive overload training, I really want everyone to be able to achieve progressive overload when training. And how do you do that? When trying to achieve progressive overload, we need to measure the effort in every single set that we do to be able to go back and see what did I do before and what am I aiming for now? To always have a window of always trying to improve and get 1% better each time. Yeah. 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 Take. 
Come in. Come in. In my opinion, you had you had about ten more because I can't see it in your face that this is heavy. So I'm like, okay, he's gonna keep going. <laughs> Okay, so for a long time now, I've been wanting to update the app so that everyone in the app knows and can achieve progressive overload. And we finally cracked it with a tool that measures your effort in every single exercise that you do. So a way to track and measure your progressive overload is RPE, and that is a way to, as I said, like track your effort in your sets to be able to go back, what did I do before, what is my next goal, and how do I reach progressive overload. Nice. So what would you say, what would, what would you say that your RP is here? Six, six to seven, something. Mm. It wasn't like the most challenging. It wasn't challenging, that we have, no, okay. Just to feel your way up. Yeah. What are you aiming for? So I will be aiming for, this will be my working set now. Mm. So the aim is absolutely 10, RPE 10, uh, which is my maximum effort, yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm aiming for uh, eight till ten reps. So somewhere in that window, I'm gonna aim for somewhere in that window. Um, and yeah, uh, RPE ten. Wait. Yeah, that's good. Oh, this this is not that heavy, I think. It's not that heavy with the axles. This is very light. Why do you do this with the axles? Den smärtan tar sig över mina ben snart. Känn inte på vikten, bara pressa, pressa, lyfta bara, se som en benpressa. Ja, så ja, kom igen. Allt du kan. Kom igen. Kom igen. Kom igen. Ja, två, två, kom igen. Djupt andetag, en sista, en sista, en sista. Allt okej. Stark. Stark. Svin bra. Oh my god. To be honest, I had a little panic when I when I was at four. I was like, this is this is not gonna this is not gonna go well. <laughs> I could definitely how many did I do? Did I do ten? Mm -hmm. Did I? I didn't count it. I didn't count. Fair enough. But also, I think Robin helped me just a slightly tiny bit. I, didn't, bit. I didn't touch it. Didn't you? No, I didn't. <laughs> it was definitely maximum effort. If I did, if I probably, if I did one more, I would probably stop at the bottom yeah. and not be able to come up <laughs> again. <laughs> Come in. Oh, come in. 
Ja, jag vet inte. Jag skimmar nu i alla fall. Vi är inte så The funny thing is, when you train legs, you always have one more rep. Yeah, yeah. Always. Always have one more. It's in the head. Yeah. Mindset. So last time, when I did leg presses, I did four 20s and one 15 on each. And now we're doing five to achieve progressive overload. Little mess. Är du med? Så att jag klarar det själv, jag vet, jag har gjort det förr. <laughs> Vänta! Det är att jag måste klättra hit, vet du? Ja, <laughs> Helvete att vara kort ibland! Ja, kom igen. Jo då, kom igen. Oh, det är det det det. Stanna till. Allt för kan. Bra. Vi är lättare för dig. Yeah, that was heavy. That's really heavy. So we're doing leg presses with a BS BS glute stance and a higher stance because the the more knee flexion you have, the more quads you will get. But the less knee flexion you have, the more glutes you will get. So we're doing a high stance to to get the the stretch in the glutes. Samma gärna lite i botten. Ja. Ja. Snyggt. Ja, snyggt. Ja. Bra. Snyggt. Mer, 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 mer. Nej! Oh Rädd! Don't leave me hanging, dude! Ja, igen. Stark. I get goosebumps. How, that's how much I'm pushing. <laughs>
bar kan han. Kom igen. Allt får du kan nu, allt får du kan. Kom igen, kom igen, kom igen, kom igen. Kom igen. Put them down gently. You won't be able to reach 9 to 10 RP. You, you need put, to throw put them the down. No. I've been wanting to quit so many times while doing this shitty but good exercise. It's too good to pass on. That's the thing. Ugh. I'm so done. Took my soul. Your soul left your body, huh? Left and flew away. <laughs> far, far away. My legs are barely <laughs> carrying me right now. <laughs> it was a really good session. Um, this is like basically how I train. And as I said in the beginning, the secret to how I reached a lot of my results. Uh, I can't even explain how excited I am over the fact that we cracked this and you can now use our RPE tool in the app and achieve your progressive overload. For those who are more interested in hearing more about progressive overload, more details, you can stick in the video uh, because I'm gonna go home, we're gonna eat uh, and I'm gonna explain a little bit more to you uh, of RPE and progressive overload. See you at home.
That is the best thing I've ever bought. Best, well, most well spent money. I freaking love you. We're home again. I'm not kidding, like that workout had me beg for mercy <laughs> in the end. I think I, I don't know if I showed that much of it, but as I said in the, in the end of the workout when I did the Bulgarian split squats, there were so many times I just wanted to quit, this is enough, I can't do anymore. But like Robin said, there's always one more. So we completed everything and I just feel the endorphins now, they're everything. And I just feel super strong for, uh, for getting through all that. Anyway, I'm not gonna keep you for much long. I'm just simply gonna say, we've been working really hard at On You to integrate progressive overload training into your workout experience because we know how important it is to reach progressive overload and to get your results back. It is important for us to show every single woman out there how to reach this and how to reach your full potential. And with this tool of RPE and to measure your effort when you're training, this will be so much easier for you to understand the whole process of reaching progressive overload. So basically by tracking your RPE, the app can guide you when and how much you should increase when training. So now when you perform an exercise, a set, you can enter your weights and your reps, and now also your RPE, one till 10. So for example, if you're doing an exercise and your RPE is lower than what is recommended in the app, the app will suggest that you progressive overload. Anyway, if you want more information about RPE and progressive overload, you will find it in the description below. I will put the box of how to measure your RPE from zero to 10 uh, and also what you think about when trying to achieve progressive overload and when measuring RPE. Uh, super important video and I've got so many questions about like how I train and how I reach my, reach my results. This is the key. So this is definitely something that you should implement into your training. When you see this video, everything is obviously live in the app and we also have an offer now where you can try out the app, try out everything in the app. Three, gu uh, three trainers, 50 plus guides, this new feature, everything uh, is included in this. And you can try it out for 14 days for free, which is a really good offer. There's also a guide, a brand new guide going live today, or it's already live when you see this. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I know I struggle with being consistent here on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. I am not quitting YouTube. I just try right now to figure out how I'm gonna like get my time to, to be enough during the days and during the weeks. Uh, it's definitely something that I struggle with. I talk more about it in, I think, my previous video. Uh, but yeah, I do definitely struggle with being enough and uh, having the time to do all this. <laughs> uh, but I'm not quitting. I'm still here. And this is such an important video. So I really hope that you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you're wondering anything. And until next time, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell for whenever I'm here. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. Bye.